Hey guys, it's me, Strix. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you like what you see, please consider subscribing because I know a lot of you that watch my videos don't. I upload frequently, so hit that notification button so you never miss an upload. I hope you all have a wonderful day and please enjoy the rest of the video. Wink. <laughs> oh God, I'm twitchy. <laughs>so I got cards like Sunspot, uh, Nebula, of course, um, Kitty Pride, uh, just to kind of feature around the use of Bloodstone. This card, this deck in particular, is also featuring Owatu and um, Howard the Duck as ways to kind of like uh, read the field because of the new update with Owatu. So let's take a look and see what's happening right now. So I have Bast here. Uh, so Bast allows me to bring everybody in my hand to three, which is great for. Uh, one card in particular, uh, Mysterio, because it helps out. Now, Watu revealed to me the third location is actually uh, is it, uh, Murder House, or what's it called again? Um, okay, one second. Yeah, we're, it's going to reveal right now. I'm paying attention. Uh, Murder World, okay? So I put my cards in Murder World as a fake out because I knew it was going to be there. Ta-da! I have armor ready to go. So he's playing Swarm. Uh, this might be a bot. Uh, so just just saying, it, it might the, the victory might not be as great. So now the most recent combo that they have going, I've seen on other on other decks, is the Elsa Bloodstone Kitty Pride combo, which is I, I've seen some comments saying, oh yeah, this is the reason why they they debuffed or they not debuffed. I used the wrong word. The reason why they nerfed Katie Pride so much is because they realized that Elsa's ability is too much of a uh, positive setup for her. Uh, because it's not like, oh, if the, the once the location is filled, um, it bo boosts their power, uh, boosts their power by three. So it's really good for Kitty now. Um, they're like besties for resties. So yeah, that's the whole situation right now. Uh, there's a Watu. There's Kitty Pride. Uh, here's the final turn. Now, one of the cards I do have in this deck is Mysterio, and that's because he is a, um, a field play. After I utilize, um, what's his name, Bast, to like pump him up, all the Mysterios become three. Unfortunately, he retreated, which is unfortunate because I wanted to get that eight, but that's the strategy that I have building in this deck right now. So, uh, I like it a lot. Uh, I haven't seen any other decks that utilize it. One of the thoughts I had was maybe Squirrel Girl, but I'm not sure quite yet. All right, here's Vormir, so we know it's there. And if we take a look, Superflow is in the third spot. So I know not to put anything there. So I'm gonna avoid that section. He's throwing Rocket Raccoon into Vormir, which is really mean. So I'm gonna put Nebula here in the center. Oh, I got lucky, it's Mirror Island. That's good for me. Now, I'm gonna put armor into Vormir, so I don't have to worry about losing a card. So, a Chachink. We got Mantis there. Not a bad card to block Nebula from realizing her potential. Got Superflow unlocked. So now, both of us are getting an RG. And we're gonna go ahead and put this down. I have Dazzler. So Dazzler's ability is ongoing. Uh, she gets plus two for every filled location on my side. And that's just rude, Spidey, that you would pull her over to Superflow, but it's, it's, it's whatever, it's fine. So Dazzler, basically if the, if, uh, is for the bit of As long as I fill up my locations, she's gonna max out her power to like eight. So that's the reason why I have her because it pairs with Elsa's ability um, because if a location gets filled by a card, that card gets plus three. So it, it kind of works together in that uh, combination right there. So that's how I planned it out. I got Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler is great also for this kind of deck because I can um, basically put him down uh, where Elsa is or where any like any other places and then 
<coughs> excuse me, I can move him over to make room to get another uh, buff down, which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. So if you take a look here, cha-cha. See, now all the Mysterios are filling up the locations. Un except for this. This was unfortunate. Juggernaut moved one of the cards, so it kind of messes up my the pattern. So it doesn't work with um, that section of Kitty Pride Mysterio. No, the one Mysterio gets buffed up. But I still managed to win out in the end. A bit of a, a last-minute annoyance by Juggernaut. But hey, you know what? Beggars can't be choosers. I still win. It works for me. Victory. I'll take it. So yeah, those are the those are my current strategies that I see. Uh, I know that there are there may be other like really good um, like strategies that I've seen. Maybe using Forge. I'm probably gonna use that. Like uh, ways I can use Forge. I know that Squirrel Girl got a buff recently, so maybe that can be another card I can do. Um, I don't. I haven't tested it, uh, so maybe I will test it out and see how that works. If it does work, great. I'm gonna have. Blood, Elsa Bloodstone powering up super squirrels everywhere. So let's, I'm gonna see if, I'm gonna test that situation. All right, so now I have a, I have a spectacular dry period because I forgot to edit this part of it out. So let's see, okay, good. I'm putting Howard and Kitty Pride down. So uh, we revealed that in the third location is a pet mansion. That's why I put Nebula on far right because at least, at least I can get a two buff. Uh, not far left, but far far left. Now I got Howard. Howard revealing that I have Elsa coming in next turn, so good. I like Howard. I feel like Howard is somewhat underrated. Uh, I feel like as a... He's not exactly a Series 5 card. He's more like a Series 4 card. You know what I mean? Like, he... he I think I got him when he, was like co when he cost 5. I don't remember exactly. But he is a little bit underrated because he does help me plan out my moves better. Here's Elsa. And Elsa is buffing up Kitty once again. Okay, we've got magic going on. So magic's gonna get rid of Wakanda and bring in Limbo. So now Misty Knight. Uh, this, again, I wanna reiterate, this is like kinda early on into the season. Um, there might be some bots that I'm fight, facing off of, but that's good because, okay, I can at least just, um, this is like the deck testing out phase, seeing if it really works. Because I know that, look, some of these uh, more advanced players are really smart within the game, so uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take that lightly. Okay. All right, we're going into turn six. He's snapping. He's confident. All right. Uh, last turn is not a card that I would, uh, not an ideal card. It's just a Watu, but it is what it is. He's playing Magneto, but he's got nobody to move because I have no three or four cards. Kitty Pride continues to get buff, and I'm buffing up the Nightcrawler. So there you go. Now we're going into the final turn. And this is why I have Nightcrawler in this deck, because I can move him over to make room for another card that Elsa can buff. So that's the idea, see? So now Uatu is now nice and strong with a four. And now Kitty Pride is getting her ass whooped by Shang-Chi. It's not ideal, but it is what it is, I guess. It's fine. I still won nowhere. I still won flooding. Everything's fine. It worked out. So I can't complain, but it's just, you know, it's, it's kind of annoying.